has been granted. He is now shut in. <laughs> it's already started to revive. I guess Genesis Sword alone won't be enough. Chester! Over here! Both of you! I think he has some kind of plan. Come on, Adol. Hurry. Step onto the platform. All right. Now, give me the sword and the statues. Adol handed the brave sword and all four statues to Chester. All right. Now. Chester, what in the world are you planning? Elena? This is goodbye. Please, take care of yourself. Okay? What? What are you saying? Our ancestors left behind a means of destroying the entire island. It can focus the power of the statues to a breaking point, creating a massive explosion. Given how badly wounded Galvalan is, it's certain to destroy him for good. Wait! So you're going to use that to blow up the island? Clearly, there's something else you're not telling me. Elena. I'm staying here. I need to use Genesis' sword to activate the device. Wait, Chester. You can't be serious. If you do that, you'll... You'll be... No! You can't! You mustn't! There... There has to be some other way. Yep, he's not on my wish list too. Just waiting for it to come out on Steam. <laughs> Why? Why should you have to die for this? I can never make amends for the atrocities I've committed. Perhaps this way, I can face our ancestors without feeling ashamed of the man I've become. Please, Elena, try to understand. No! I don't understand! How can you possibly suggest something like this? If you go on living, you'll find a way to redeem yourself. I know you will. You have to know that our parents would never approve of this. So please, don't. Don't leave me alone again. You can't, Chester. You can't do this. Elena, forgive me. <sighs> Elena, you have to live. For me. Ado. Please take care of her. And... Tell Dogi I'm sorry. Now, Genesis' mission and the creature that's plagued this land for such a long time will all be put to an end. Vile fiend. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're too late. much longer. Chester, is this your doing?
<laughs> Jester. Dumbass. think you'll get her to come out. It's understandable, though. She lost Chester for real this time. She's probably in a lot of pain right now. Oh, don't look so dejected. You'll see her again someday, and she'll be fine. Come on. Let's go, okay? We need to say our goodbyes to everyone before shipping off. Still early in the day, though, so we might have to make it quick. I imagine they'll all be pretty busy. So, Adam, you're leaving then? Hey now, what's with that look? I know you're having a tough time dealing with what Sister Nell did, but look at it this way. Maybe she thought she was doing what she had to. She was just misguided. Yes, you may be right. I remember when I first came here. She taught me everything I needed to know. Patient and understanding all the way. She never had an unkind word to say about anyone. Hard to believe that same person committed such atrocities at the bishop's behest. But I feel there was more to her than that. I think deep down, she really was the wonderful human being we all knew. Yeah, I think you're right. To be honest, I never knew Bishop Nicholas very well. But Sister Nell was always one of the nicest people I'd ever met. She treated me like a little brother. I don't buy for a second that it was all just an act. Indeed. She and Chester sinned gravely, but they were not evil. They were only human. And humans make mistakes. It is man's great contradiction. We can be so strong, yet so weak, at the same exact moment. already, are you, Adol? I've been doing a lot of thinking. And you know what I've concluded? Chester gave his life to save all of Felgana. I'm convinced that that was his goal from the very start. So rather than grieving for his death, I choose to celebrate what he accomplished in life. He will be remembered. Mayor, I think the best thing we can do right now is focus on getting everyone to work together to build a better Felgana. That's how I'll repay my debt to Chester. In any case, Adam, you must come back to see us again. And I promise, by the time you do, I'll have turned Redmont into a world-class metropolitan utopia. Beautiful weather today, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Perfect for setting out on a long journey. There's been a lot of damage done, but that sure doesn't seem to be ruining anyone's day. I think it's because we proved that no matter how bad things get, we'll all stick together and see them through. Well, that's true, but what are you guys gonna do about the quarry? 
Until it's cleaned up, it sure ain't gonna produce much. Oh, don't worry, we'll be fine. We just have to take it one step at a time, and before you know it, it'll be done. After all, the people of Redmond are resilient. It'll take more than this to keep us down, am I right? You know it as well as I do, Dogie. <laughs> Damn straight. So, Adol, you're leaving us then. We are all greatly in your debt. Thank you for everything you've done. What about you, Master? What are you going to do now? Planning to go back to your cabin up in the mountains? No. Now that Count Maguire has reformed, I see no further need to live the life of a hermit. And with the monsters gone, I'm left adrift in this world. A man without a purpose. Oh, come now, Master. You're no such thing. No, I am. My job here is done. All I'm qualified for is mercenary work, and that's out of the question. Honestly, I think I'm just going to relax now. Relax and mourn the loss of a dear pupil, of course. I see it as retirement. Living out the rest of my days here, helping to rebuild. I actually look forward to it. Adol, isn't it a bit early to be setting off? Are you sure we can't convince you to stay a little longer? Come on now, you're gonna make him feel guilty about leaving. Well, he'll be missed. It'll be lonely around here without him for sure. I know, maybe you can stay here and Dogie can go off on some grand adventure in your place. Oh, ma'ams. Why you gotta bust my walls like that? Uh, I'm just teasing. Adol, I sincerely hope I have a chance to see you again. You'll always be welcome in Redmond. And if you do come back, I'll make you one hell of a feast to celebrate. Ah, good morning, Adol. Awfully early start today. You going somewhere? Oh, so you're leaving. It's probably bad form to be asking you this now, but have you considered staying here with us? Everyone in town already thinks of you as one of their own. I'm sure they'd all be thrilled. You're wasting your breath, old man. He wouldn't know what to do with himself if there were no more grand adventures in his life. The thrill of new lands is what keeps him going. Yes, I believe I understand. I think we've just grown attached to you, Adol. But you needn't mind us. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, after all. Take care in your travels, and be sure you come visit. This is goodbye. If I go with you all the way to the dock, I know I won't be able to keep myself from getting on that boat. But like I mentioned yesterday, I think I really need to stay here and help rebuild. The monsters are gone, but the quarry's still in bad shape, and there's a lot of damage to repair. Don't think we should leave Valestine Castle in its current state either. So I'm gonna stay here for a bit, 
and help my homeland get back on its feet. I think that's what Chester would have wanted too. You, though, you need to continue your journey and give everyone something to dream about. No need for the puppy dog eyes, man. If you stay in one place long enough, you know I'll catch up to you. We'll meet again, partner. I promise you that. Adol was reassured and bid Dogi a fond, albeit temporary, farewell. You were right, Chester. I have to be brave. Elena? Dogi, where's Adol? <laughs> you just missed him. He was headed toward the pier, so you might catch up with him if you run. Okay. Hey, watch your step along the way if you're planning to chase after him. The monsters may be gone, but that doesn't mean there aren't still cliffs and jagged rocks and stuff. I will. Thank you, Dogi. <laughs> Go for it, Elena. regretted if I let you leave without saying goodbye, so I had to see you. I just want to say thank you so much for everything. Because of you, I believe that Chester's finally at peace. And in the end, he saved everyone. All of Felgana. He told me I have to go on living, and I will. I believe he had no regrets. Thinking about him still hurts, but... I believe that everything he did, misguided though it may have been, was to protect me, me, and all the other people he loved here. That's why I have to be strong. I have to stand on my own, so I can protect the people and the home I love, just like he did. And I swear that I will. Right here, on this spot, I pledge my oath to him. Goodbye, Adol. I'm... I'm really glad I met you.